The morning after the Haiti earthquake, uh, I just happened to be at my office desk checking my email. Our first emergency response team landed. Um, we were able to arrive in Port-au-Prince 22 hours after the earthquake. One of our doctors, he was on the plane researching on, on Google and getting some maps and some Google Earth shots of the Port-au-Prince area. He wanted to get a sense of where could we set up an operations. Our assignment was to get to the University Hospital in the center of Port-au-Prince. We entered into a situation of, of chaos. Disasters happen in the middle of nowhere and you can't turn right at 7th Street. Um, there is no 7th Street. I think it would be very hard to get around without Google Maps. We walked into 800 to 1,000 patients on the first day. We had an equal number arrive every day. You know, you're really aware that it is absolute nightmarish. We did have the advantage of having Google Maps, uh, Google Earth Maps that were set up that showed the area. And as other teams came in, other surgical programs that came in to help, uh, it was extremely helpful for us to know exactly where they were in the compound. Whenever we build maps of a response area, we add in, you know, our own information. Maybe it would say, Dr. Matt, Nurse Gabby are going to go to this mobile clinic and we estimate there are these many people in this area. We were starting to see patients with tetanus. We would be able to say tetanus here and if you see it here and here and here, you might have an outbreak. And then we share that with the rest of either people within the organization or coordinating partners. If a Google Doc or, or a piece of information on a map is readily accessible, it, it really is life or death.